In this video, you're going to learn how to use SG Connect to offload plugin processing to a dedicated SoundGrid DSP server. Using your existing ACO or Core Audio audio interface, the SoundGrid Studio application, and the Studio Rack plugin. To get started, log into your Waves account and register your license for SoundGrid Studio on the eMotion ST Mixer, and then install and activate it on your Mac or PC via Wave Central. The setup that I'm showing you is for mixing only. This setup is not supported or intended to be used with recording with real-time monitoring of plugins at low latency, as there is no SoundGrid audio interface in this example. For this to work, you will need the SoundGrid Studio application installed and licensed on your computer or a USB flash drive. And you will also need Waves or other V11 SoundGrid compatible plugins installed on the same computer. You are going to need a SoundGrid DSP server, and it must be powered up and connected to an Ethernet port on your computer or via an approved Ethernet adapter. The audio interface we're using is your current choice, whichever one that is. This example adds DSP for plugin processing only, remember. So your playback engine settings in your current DAW will remain the same. The first time you launch SoundGrid Studio, the Auto Config Wizard will automatically scan the network to configure your system. This means the software will scan your Ethernet or LAN ports. Once it has found your SoundGrid DSP server, it may prompt you with an alert saying no SoundGrid I.O. was found on the network. In this setup, we are using your existing audio interface that is not a SoundGrid one. So we will select your existing device before moving on. Under SG Connect on the setup page, select your local I.O. from the local devices list. The assignment will appear with blue text. Now open your DAW and leave your playback engine set as it is for your existing device. Next, open the Studio Rack plugin. If SoundGrid has been configured properly, Studio Rack should display that it is in SG mode as opposed to native mode. Native mode uses the computer's CPU for power. The SG mode uses the SoundGrid DSP server. The Wave SoundGrid logo will be green. If the SoundGrid is red, something is not configured correctly. Click it and the application will indicate what to address to resolve the issue. In this case, there is no issue. When working properly with the SG Green, a plugin or a chain of plugins in Studio Rack will be processed through the SoundGrid DSP server. If all the points I've been through have been followed, you should be up and running and you should have Studio Rack in your DAW and be ready to mix and offload plugins to your SoundGrid DSP server. Happy mixing.